Just give me an idea of what's happening tonight. Um, tonight I am playing at the ball for um, Rise of Sunshine and this actually is Alice Ball. She organises everything. I'm going to play my violin um, during the dinner and Mel is doing makeup at the moment for me. I'm doing a smoky eye, elegant smoky eye, I suppose you would. I particularly support this charity with the performance tonight because I think Rise of Sunshine is amazing um, charity that helps children to make their dreams come true, especially when they are very, very ill and they want to experience something very special in their lives. So is it exhausting the work that you do? Tell us about the sort of the physical aspects of playing the violin and um, performing. Performing itself it's fun because certainly I know the pieces very well. It's just the case of warming up my fingers, not being stiff. Violin practicing can be tiring when you do this for many, many hours a day. But um, usually it's fun. It's if you love doing yeah, what you, you do, do it is fun. So one and a half hour of practicing, it might seem to some people that it's a long time. It actually is not, it's nothing. Mm. And you're obviously passionate about Yes, um, I started playing the violin when I was six and I carried on all my life and I moved to England to do my undergrad degree that I've done in music in violin at Leeds Uni and now I'm doing masters in violin uh, in Manchester at Royal Northern College of Music and it's great, I enjoy every minute I'm in there. I started doing gigs professionally since the age of 16 when the first time I came to England and yes, I was given many gigs opportunities at various uh, weddings and even some corporate events as well. And then I decided to move to England and now I am continuing with what I do with my career, really. So what's the big plan for your career? Um, there are many plans. Um, at the moment I am finishing my classical city what is called My Classical Interpretations and this CD will hopefully, fingers crossed, will be um, released in a couple of months. It's just at the moment I am having so much um, assessments in college and practicing for my recitals and gigs that I do. Challenge about um, studying and performing. studying and performing. You know, in I finished this university with two one degree that I'm very proud of in violin, and I got to Manchester to Royal Northern College of Music. I auditioned uh, in many conservatories through the country. I got everywhere where I wanted, but I chose Manchester because it's convenient for me. I can commute from Leeds, where I am based, uh, on a train. The problems with studying and playing is that I don't really have a lot of um, social life. So sometimes I wake up 5.45 to catch my train to Manchester at 7.08. Then I am practicing in Manchester having violin lessons or orchestra and then more practicing and then I come back home about 5 p.m. and I have to be practicing for gigs and it's just ongoing process and I've been very exhausted in December but then I went home for Christmas and I finally had some time off.
Um, yes, we are having sound check now, and I am going to be playing free violins today. This is my baby, beloved classical violin. I've been playing this violin since the age of 10 or 11, I think. This is my Vivo 2. Vivo 2 electric violin that I've been playing for the last oh god so many years these are handmade in the UK by Ted Brewer in yeah the I've Army. been playing since the age of 18 this one and this arrived yesterday yesterday that's my completely clear there's only one in the world at the moment like this like this it's made to match the profile of my classical violin it I is know more comfortable when playing. I think it's exactly the same. But what's cool is that it's completely see-through, crafted by sorcery and yeah. black magic. Gla <laughs> Glass violin. And yes, I love this violin. And I will be playing by the end of my set tonight on my whole clear violin. Entertaining people during the main meal. Can't wait. Cool. Off we part. <laughs> 